Lil Romeo made it big in the music industry at a very young age. It's not surprising then that his childhood crib in Sugarland, Texas was likely the most impressive out of his classmates. These days, he doesn't go by Lil Romeo anymore, but he still lives a life of luxury, currently calling a beautiful Calabasas mansion home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Romeo Miller, or Lil Romeo, is an American rapper, actor, and all around entrepreneur who has managed to step out from behind the shadow of his famous father, Master P, to establish himself as a successful artist in his own right. Sure, having someone as rich and famous as Master P for your pops might give you a leg up on everyone else, but if you ask Romeo, he'll tell you that it really doesn't matter how you start off. What matters is how much of your own skin you put into the game. And that's the thing about Romeo, he's been making a name for himself since the early 2000s when he was still only a preteen with hit songs like My Baby, a track that would sell more than 200,000 copies in its first week and afford Romeo the opportunity to deck out his childhood home in a way that most kids his age could only dream of. But as nice as his former house in Texas once was, when Romeo was old enough to finally move out on his own, he did his old man one better by scooping up one of the most stunning Calabasas, California homes you've ever seen. But with a net worth of over $5 million, he can afford it. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one looking at the homes of Lil Romeo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. Now let's get into this video. After being born in 1989 to his parents' rappers Master P and Sonia C, Lil Romeo would spend the early part of his childhood growing up in and around the city of New Orleans. But once his parents began hitting it big, the family moved to a home in Sugarland, Texas. This million dollar property featured four bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a striking red brick exterior that honestly kind of reminds me of the front of those old time schoolhouses you used to see back in the day. It seems like after Romeo's early success with his debut album 2001's Lil Romeo, that his mom and pops basically let him have free reign of this new home to deck it out however he felt like. I say this up front because what you're about to see definitely looks like a 12 year old kid helped out with the interior design. So let's start with the living room or as Lil Romeo used to call it, the competition room. That's one funky main room isn't it? Orange, green, yellow and blue, all the colors are there. And that's before we even get to the neon blue aquarium that's packed full of tropical fish. Before you leave this room, don't forget to check out the mini chandelier hanging from the ceiling above. A gorgeous export from Italy that we'll be seeing more of once we get to Romeo's current house. On the flip side of Romeo's competition room, he had his own private movie theater. And sure, we can all laugh at how outdated that technology looks now. Laser discs are so 90s after all. But let's be honest, those of us from that generation would have killed for a setup like this definitely brag to his classmates about all of that. Just up the stairs from Lil Romeo's main floors where he kept his original recording studio, otherwise known as Lil Romeo's house. Up there, he's got all the possible tools a recording artist of his stature could possibly need, including one truly rare piece, Stevie Wonder's former Korg keyboard. Just down the hall from his recording studio lies the game room. Not to be mistaken with Lil Romeo's competition room, this different area of the home contains every single video game that the kid owned, alongside his then still developing shoe collection. Now the final room we're gonna check out upstairs is Lil Romeo's custom made master suite. Featuring drawers full of fan mail and some well embroidered comforters, one for the bed and one for the wall, Romeo was sleeping in some truly patriotic luxury as a kid. I really don't think Lil Romeo spent a lot of time in his kitchen back then either. I mean, he kept his freezer full of pizza, freeze pops, and ice cream, none of which requires much in the way of preparation. Is that what his parents were eating too? I'm so confused. Anyways, now that we have an idea of how Lil Romeo used to live, let's take a look at the unbelievable mansion that he now calls home as Romeo Miller. No longer Lil Romeo, back in May of 2015, Romeo picked himself up a multi-million dollar home in the celeb-packed gated community known as the Oaks in Calabasas, California. 
This area may sound familiar because the likes of Kourtney Kardashian, Travis Barker, Tyga, and other famous faces are only some of his neighbors here. As the new kid on the block, Romeo moved into this stunning 8,991 square foot home that features six bedrooms and eight baths located on nearly one acre of land. To say that this place comes fully loaded is definitely an understatement. To begin with, let's take a look at the outside, which is so picturesque, I don't know how Romeo manages to get anything done while living here. How is the man just staring at his phone the entire way from his front door to his car? Does he even see that landscaping and gorgeous column work? And just wait till you get a load of his front gate. But as stunning as the front side of Romeo's home is, nothing about this place will ever top the first impression you get when you walk through the door and are greeted by a mammoth Italian chandelier. Definitely an upgrade from the smaller one in his childhood house. Am I right? This fancy light fixture complements that double staircase leading up to the top floor in the main foyer. And when you couple all of that with those gorgeous marble floors with intricate pattern work, it really does feel like Romeo's home is a holiday resort. Remember how low Romeo's kitchen used to look back in the day? Well, he's definitely put more time and consideration into his newest culinary space, decking the place out with top of the line stainless steel appliances, some killer dark wood cabinetry, and not one, but two kitchen islands for all the necessary meal prep. And while we may not have an inside peek at what's in his fridge these days, there's simply no way it's full of frozen meals like it used to be, right? Speaking of comparing and contrasting, Romeo's shoe collection has most definitely grown since he was a child, and he's also changed up how he displays them. Rather than relegate his entire collection to his game room, now Romeo keeps the kicks in his current rotation right by the entrance door so that he can choose the perfect finishing touch to his fit for the day. One other room that Romeo loves to show off is his personal study. That's where he likes to film a majority of his sponsored content for companies like Pretty Melanin, all while sitting comfortably at his mahogany desk with some truly epic built-in shelving behind him. The final room I'm gonna take you inside of is Romeo's ensuite bathroom, which honestly looks like it's been directly ripped out of some European palace. You'll notice the chandelier hanging above him, apparently very much a thing with the Miller family. But don't let that distract you from the gorgeously designed marble floors or the tasteful wall decals. Finally, before we go, we're gonna check out the property's garage that's more or less the size of most people's actual houses. Now that's a four car garage that provides more than enough space for Romeo and his buddies to work at their jumper on the nearby hoop that's been put up right nearby. Rather than use the garage for his whips, Romeo's converted it into a fully functioning gym complete with a weight lift station, pull up bar, and a ton of equipment. Damn, no wonder he's gotten himself into such killer shape recently. But at the end of the day, do you really need anything more than a jump rope and some gorgeous views? All right, guys, that's all I got for our Lil Romeo, Romeo Miller house tour. But what did you guys think about his home? Do you think he had the most epic dream home as a preteen, or did his parents go too far with letting him decorate it? Also, what was your favorite thing about his current mansion in Calabasas? Be sure to let me know what you thought about Romeo's homes in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!